in our previous video we have seen how to analyze unsymmetrical conditions into by using sequence components or symmetrical components now we have to understand like you know sequence impedances okay sequence impedances like you know in this video i'm going to tell you for example in synchronous machine whether positive sequence will be more or less or zero sequence comparison and maybe transmission line and maybe transformer okay so for example in star in star connection which type of currents can flow in delta connection which types of currents can flow and why in transformer positive sequence negative sequence zero sequence impedances will be same so those things we are going to discuss and from formula point of view we'll see in the next discussion okay so basically if you think of alternator or synchronous machine this is going to be my synchronous machine this is a this is b this is c okay now for example for positive actually whenever some currents flow then only reactants come into picture okay now if i inject currents here means in alternator currents will come out or in motor currents will go in okay as we discussed previously in both like you know in synchronous machine both motor and generator drive the fault current okay so synchronous machine is same like you know we need not bother about whether it is alternator or synchronous motor both machines can drive fault current okay now for example if i supply positive sequence okay for example let me think of rotor my rotor is this this is n pole this is s pole which is rotating in this direction okay then for example if i think of this as a generator n pole a maximum voltage maximum will come here so a maximum and after that after 120 degrees b maximum and after 120 degrees c maximum so what is the phase sequence of the induced voltages a b c okay so the moment phase sequence is the abc now actually in this in this condition our induced voltages are supposed to be positive sequence okay induced voltages first a will come after that b will come after that c will come so induced voltages will be there for positive sequence only okay now if you think of negative sequence currents okay so my generator is connected to the prime mover it is getting rotated in this direction only so induced voltage will be there in the positive sequence only but if you think of negative sequence currents what is negative sequence is cb phase sequence for example here if negative sequence currents flow current flow acb phase sequence current flow means because of negative sequence currents my rmf rotated in my generator in armature is going to be in opposite direction okay so my rotor is rotating in this direction but rmf created in this because of negative sequence currents will be in opposite direction in opposite direction now let us think of zero sequence currents okay so actually whether zero sequence currents can flow or cannot flow we'll see in the means whether it is star connected or delta connected or uh, like you know neutral is grounded or not okay anyway point here is if zero sequence currents flow okay what is meant by zero sequence currents for example this is zero sequence currents of phase a okay what about phase b phase b also will be same what about phase c phase c also will be same okay so whenever this is positive maximum whenever phase a is carrying zero sequence currents of positive maximum phase b also will have positive maximum phase c also will have positive maximum for example how flux pattern is going to be induced if you see for example this is a a dash and this is b b dash and this is c and this is c dash okay for example currents are dot here cross here b dot cross here c dot cross here okay so for example whenever phase a current is maximum okay whenever phase a current is maximum my phase a mmf is going to be crossed out like this so phase a mmf is going to be like this f a maximum okay so at the same instant zero sequence zero sequence in the sense whenever phase a is carrying maximum currents phase b also should carry maximum currents phase c also should carry maximum current phase a mmf in this direction phase b if it is carrying same positive maximum f maximum this is also is going to be fa maximum and this is going to be fb maximum and phase c is going to be fc maximum okay so what is the net resultant flux net resultant flux is going to be this plus this plus this 
okay so net result in flux is going to be zero okay or we can say like you know because of that space displacement all like you know flux developed because of zero sequence currents in synchronous machine is going to be very less when flux is very less my what, what do you say zero sequence reactance will be less okay so in synchronous machine my zero sequence reactance should be less okay or if i don't bother about resistance like you know x naught is going to be less now let us think of x1 and x2 okay so x1 and x2 in the sense positive sequence and negative sequence for example this is a1 this is b1 this is c1 if you rotate in this direction if you sit here first a1 will come after that b1 will come after that c1 will come so this is going to be positive sequence okay now if you think of negative sequence for example this is a2 this is going to be c2 this is going to be b2 such that if you sit here first a will come first a maximum will come after that c maximum will come after that b maximum will come so this is going to be a c b negative phase, uh, phase sequence so this is this now if i supply positive sequence currents whenever phase a is maximum phase b horizontal reflection phase b is going to be half of the negative maximum phase c is going to be half of the negative maximum okay so for example if i see in this direction a is going to positive maximum b and c is having equal and opposite half of the maximum so whenever you have like you know balanced currents at any instant ia plus ib plus ic will be zero or not yes whenever ia is maximum ib and ic will be half of the negative maximum such that ia plus ib plus ic equal to zero okay for example if i supply the same positive sequence or negative sequence for example a a dash here b b dash here c c dash here a dot b dot c dot cross 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 for example at one instant at one instant at one instant a is maximum a is maximum this is maximum f maximum at the same instant b b is cross dot in this direction phase b is having half of negative maximum f maximum by 2 okay so if you get any doubt go through rmf concepts in our like you know machines playlist okay now phase c cross dot here it will be in this direction positive maximum half of positive maximum half of negative maximum half of negative maximum such that this plus this this plus this this and this will get cancelled out f maximum f maximum by 2 cos 60 f maximum by 2 cos 60 is going to be resulted is going to be 1.5 f max okay so because of positive sequence and negative sequence currents one resultant mma will be there that resultant mma will be rotating in space with same angle of time okay so the moment like you know because of positive sequence or negative sequence net resultant mmf <coughs> is going to be formed or not now let us think of cylindrical rotor okay for example if this is cylindrical rotor if this is cylindrical rotor okay if this is cylindrical rotor means rotor is rotating in this direction but positive sequence currents positive sequence currents phase sequence is a b c so my positive sequence mmf of the armature because armature currents will flow in this will rotate in this direction if you think of negative sequence phase currents will be uh, because of negative sequence currents my rmf will be rotating in opposite direction okay so positive sequence rotate in this direction okay reluctance offered or flux created by because of that a reactance negative sequence in this direction in this direction same air gap is going to be offered or not yes so in cylindrical rotor positive sequence impedance will be exactly equal to negative sequence impedance okay so in synchronous machine in cylindrical rotor synchronous machine so in cylindrical rotor synchronous machine what is the conclusion we got cylindrical rotor synchronous machine like you know positive sequence equal to negative sequence okay now what about the what do you say zero sequence reactance is going to be less why because of zero sequence currents flowing in abc abc what is the net resultant mmf is going to be zero or very small amount of flux will be there the moment flux is less reactance will be less now let us think of salient rotor machine <coughs> okay for example it is not cylindrical rotor it is salient rotor it is salient rotor okay so in salient rotor in this sense, poles are like this okay so in salient rotor machine if rotor is being rotated in this direction 
okay so my it is rotating in this direction and pause because of positive sequence currents positive sequence currents are abc phase sequence so because of positive sequence currents one arm will be created because of armature current that will be rotated in the same direction with the same speed okay now if you think of negative sequence negative sequence because of negative sequence currents fault currents here negative sequence phase currents or fault currents is going to have acb phase sequence the moment it is you are having acb phase sequence my mmf created here will rotate in opposite direction okay so rotor is rotating in this direction with thousand my rmf will rotate in opposite direction with thousand rmf created because of armature fault current so my rotor uh, sorry armature mmf created by this first should align with this after that should align with this after that should align with this after that should align with this because this is rotating with synchronous speed rmf created because of armature fault current is going to rotate in opposite direction so xd xq xd xq because air gaps are less air gaps are less here air gaps are more here air gaps are less here air gaps are more here so if you think of negative sequence reactance okay negative sequence reactance xd plus xq by 2 positive sequence xd only because because of my positive sequence currents have a b c rm will be produced that rm will be rotated in the same direction okay so for example salient rotor in salient rotor positive sequence will be there <coughs> okay so negative sequence if you see negative sequence is going to be xd plus xq by 2 okay because my rmf created because of armature fault currents will be one time it will be aligned with d axis another time it will be aligned with q axis because my rotor is rotating in this direction my armature mmf is rotating in opposite direction okay now anyway x not as usual in an alternator or synchronous machine it will be less one now let us think of transmission line okay actually like you know uh, this is one of the interview question okay maybe if i have big transmission line big like you know maybe in kilo amperes of current is uh, currents are flowing now exactly below that exactly below that if i construct a home okay so they will ask you are you going to get brain tumor or will you be influenced by magnetic fields electromagnetic fields frankly speaking if you are using three phase system no okay why because just let me explain this then automatically you will come to know positive sequence negative sequence zero sequence impedances which value will be more which value will be less and all for example i have transmission line this will be transmission line and i constructed my home here okay so i constructed my home here okay under healthy conditions under healthy and not unbalanced conditions under balanced healthy conditions current flowing through this will be ia current flowing through this will be ib current flowing through this will be ic <coughs> okay so because of ia flux will be produced here around it because of ib flux will be produced here because of ic flux will be produced here now what under healthy conditions balanced conditions what is ia plus ib plus ic instantaneous value zero so pi a plus pi b plus pi c instantaneous value will be zero so net flux is going to be much less okay so the moment net flux okay is going to be for example in contemplated condition net flux is zero so the guys who are residing here are not going to get any electromagnetic interference okay now means like you know whenever ia plus ib plus ic equal to zero if such current flow net reactance is going to be less okay so positive sequence or negative sequence ia plus ib plus ic equal to zero in both positive sequence and negative sequence okay so for example in positive sequence here positive sequence a plus c plus b zero here a plus b plus c is going to be zero okay so for positive sequence and negative sequence currents in transmission line impedance value will be less for example zero sequence zero sequence in the sense whenever ia is carrying maximum current whenever ia is carrying maximum current at the same time ib also will carry maximum currents at this because magnitudes are same at the same time ic also will carry maximum currents so flux created by this a equal to flux created by this a equal to flux created by this so net flux will be more okay so reactance should be more okay so in transmission line x naught should be high okay compared to for example positive sequence currents will flow in this direction abc phase sequence or negative sequence currents flow in this direction acb phase sequence what is the difference no no difference 
okay because total flux created flux patterns will be same so x1 equal to x2 okay so x0 will be more in transmission line in transmission line okay now next what else will be the transformer will be there i will conclude to the transformer okay so for example let me think of transformer is there okay in transformer let me consider core type transformer or shell type transformer so in core type transformer for example or maybe like you know we can think of <coughs> three phase transformer bank or three phase transformer okay so for example if three phase transformer three phase transform bank is there three phase transform bank is there means that a a so three separate transformer tanks will be there separate transformer tanks will be there so if i have positive sequence currents flux created by this if i have negative sequence currents flux created by this in the core if i have zero sequence currents flux created by this in the core will be same okay for example for example if i have three phase core type single transformer okay so if i have three phase core type transformer okay so this is going to be the winding this is going to be the winding this is going to be the winding okay if i have positive sequence and negative sequence means positive sequence ia plus ib plus ic will be zero such that pi a plus pi b plus pi c will be zero pi c will be zero okay so means for pi a for pi a for, for example whenever i a is maximum i b and i c will be half of the negative maximum means that whenever pi a is maximum pi b and pi c will be half of the negative maximum so half of the negative maximum in downward direction means that whenever it is carrying positive maximum in this direction these two will carry half of the negative maximum such that for this flux these two will behave like a return path okay now let us think of zero sequence currents zero sequence currents in the sense for example whenever this is maximum at the same time this is maximum at the same time this is maximum okay so whenever this is maximum at the same time this is maximum at the same time this is maximum so for example if i have one more limb okay if i have one more limb here actually five limb structure we use we discussed this in transformer okay so whenever this is maximum it can go like this whenever this is maximum it can go like this whenever this is maximum it can go like this it can go like this so for zero sequence currents flux pattern positive sequence and negative sequence flux pattern will be same okay so in transformer in transformer positive sequence equal to negative sequence equal to zero sequence okay because flux pattern created for positive sequence and negative sequence or zero sequence will be same in transformer here positive sequence and negative sequence will be same but zero sequence is going to be high here high flux so zero sequence impedance will be more and here for zero sequence like you know for zero sequence whenever a is maximum b is maximum c is maximum okay a is maximum b is maximum c is maximum or a is maximum b is maximum c is maximum net resultant is going to be zero are very less are very less so zero sequence reactance of what do you say synchronous machine is going to be less okay here if you think of cylindrical rotor cylindrical rotor positive sequence impedance or sorry positive sequence currents created rmf will rotate in this direction negative sequence currents created rmf will be rotating in opposite direction in cylindrical rotor air gap offered for both the sequence components will be same but if you think of salient rotor in salient rotor if it is rotating with synchronous speed rotor is rotating with synchronous speed stator mmf of positive sequence currents will be rotating in the same direction so always it will see xd only but if you think of negative sequence currents in the sense negative sequence currents rmf okay fault currents rmf will be rotating in opposite direction so at one point xd at one point xq at one point xd because rotor is rotating in this direction rmf is rotating in opposite direction so xd plus xq by 2 should be taken okay now let us think of induction motor okay already starting starting we discussed induction motor cannot drive any fault current because you don't have any poles okay now let us think of from network point of view from network point of view which type of currents can flow depending upon whether it is star connected or delta connected okay so let us see for example actually i am going to tell you about star connection and delta connection of normal network theory i am not going to deal anything with respect to machines now 
okay for example if it is star if it is star okay means this particular uh, point is not connected to ground neutral point is not connected to ground then what will happen for example if i try to apply kcl here kcl here because there is no return path here ia plus ib plus ic should be zero or not yes because when ia is positive maximum ib and ic should be half of the negative maximum such that positive maximum current will flow it will be split into two so these two will behave like a return path to this provided ia plus ib plus ic equal to zero now ia plus ib plus ic equal to zero will be there only for positive sequence and negative sequence if you think of zero sequence zero sequence whenever this current is maximum at the same time this current should be maximum at the same time this current should be maximum okay under that conditions where is the return path no so zero sequence currents cannot flow currents cannot flow positive sequence and negative sequence yes because positive sequence a plus b plus c equal to zero negative sequence a plus b plus c equal to zero okay now let us think of delta connection okay so in delta connection if you think of in delta connection in delta connection let us think of positive sequence and negative sequence okay so positive sequence and negative sequence currents anyway can flow because in a transmission line ia plus ib plus ic is going to be zero now my problem is related to zero sequence okay so if you think of zero sequence okay can zero sequence currents can flow in the lines or not no why because try to hold this like you know try to hold this okay if i try to hold this completely to the single point okay so whatever the current is entering here entering here entering here this is a combined node virtual node okay under that condition ia plus ib plus ic should be zero such currents only can flow okay ah, forget about it if i connect into like you know delta to star okay so if i connect into delta to star automatically like you know zero sequence currents cannot flow because ia plus ib plus ic equal to zero similarly if i hold this if i hold this completely try to apply kcl ia plus ib plus ic should be zero so zero sequence currents cannot flow in line zero sequence currents cannot flow in line there is no return button now let us think of zero sequence currents in phases okay for example at one instant one ampere current is flowing at the same instant one ampere current is flowing at the same instant one ampere current is flowing okay so at one instant zero sequence current is one ampere in one phase at the same instant in another phase it will be one ampere in the same case another will be one ampere so if one ampere is entering one ampere is required to flow here so these currents can flow or not yes so zero sequence currents can flow in the delta connected phases but zero sequence current cannot flow in the lines in the lines okay now let us think of star connected with grounded neutral okay i'm not telling this either for transformer or alternator no it's a normal network topology okay for example i connect this to ground okay so that grounded like you know solid grounding solid grounding under that condition what will happen positive sequence and negative sequence ia plus ib plus ic equal to zero positive sequence ia plus ib plus ic equal to zero means that positive sequence currents cannot flow here because if one it means maximum current of 10 amps is flowing means it is going to minus 5 it is going to minus 5 such that positive sequence currents and negative sequence currents will go through lines only it will not go through ground okay now if you think of zero sequence in zero sequence at one instant this is one ampere at the same instant this is also one ampere at the same instant this is also one ampere so here current will flow or not yes how much current will flow 3 i not zero sequence current so through this ground positive sequence currents cannot flow negative sequence currents cannot flow only zero sequence currents flow okay now let us think of for example reactance grounding or resistance grounding okay in reactance grounding or resistance grounding for example this is okay so this is going to be ia 
आई बी आई सी अगेन सेम ओल्ड स्टोरी पॉजिटिव सीक्वेंस और नेगेटिव सीक्वेंस करेंट कैन फ्लो हियर पॉजिटिव सीक्वेंस और नेगेटिव सीक्वेंस करेंट कैन नॉट फ्लो हियर बिकॉज आई ए प्लस आई बी प्लस आई सी इक्वल टू जीरो सच करेंट्स आर पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव बट इफ यू थिंक ऑफ जीरो सीक्वेंस करेंट्स जीरो सीक्वेंस करेंट्स means whenever this is one ampere this is also one ampere this is also one ampere so zero sequence currents will flow okay so how much is the voltage here is going to be three times i not z some impedance our day say neutral grounded okay so three times i not z now one thing i have to tell you here like you know while developing zero sequence networks zero sequence networks only for i not we draw okay so but what is the voltage here three times i not z so uh, my sequence network i'm going to draw for i not so in that case we are going to consider it as 3z okay so if zero sequence impedance of this is z not okay under that conditions like you know if i try to draw some network only for i not under that condition this impedance is going to be 3 times z not okay so i not voltage drop is i not into 3 times z not problem is going to be solved okay so point here is very simple we are not going to remember anything not required we need not get scared okay so zero sequence in the sense whenever i a equal to i b equal to i c equal magnitude like you know vectors positive sequence and negative sequence abc phase sequence acb phase sequence but in positive sequence and negative sequence i a plus i b plus i c equal to zero but in zero sequence i a equal to i b equal to i c at any instant okay so with that like you know we are going to develop sequence networks and uh, let's do problems soon